have just seen Finnegan break our doll's house. <laughs> it's episode 32 of the Asylum Challenge, and as you can see, some things have changed. Um, I have played through Freddy's baby years completely, and now he is an adorable little toddler. And of course, we had to deck out his room because, you know, we can't have a kid living in a in an asylum. That's not okay. So if we're going to have to have him living in an asylum for a little bit, then we need to make his room pretty cool. So he is just getting potty trained by his dad right now. And he's sad because Finnegan destroyed the, the dollhouse. So we will fix that shortly. We are so close. To finishing this challenge. Tessa literally just has to do one more <laughs> skill in fitness and she's done. So I'm like I don't even know what to say. I feel like this was the first challenge, the first video, the first everything that I did for this channel and I don't know I'm really sad that it's sort of the end is in sight. Like I've been putting off recording these videos because I was like, I don't want it to end. <laughs> Especially now they've got a little boy. Like, it's just so cute. So, yeah, I mean, we'll just see how we go. I mean, obviously they got engaged last episode, which was super exciting. Um, but, you know, we will, and we will definitely um, get them married at some point. Probably after Tess has finished everything. Um, so you're you're really tired, dude. Oh, but you're also really hungry. Okay. So the only, as I explained, the only time I'm going to play James is when it comes to um, Freddy. While he's a toddler and a baby, because, you know, as you know, they basically just have, they can't do much for themselves. So that's the only time I'm going to play him. And I'm not using anyone else. So... If you're just sitting there, do you think we could come and sleep? Because that would be great. Um, like, that would be really great. Let's X that. And obviously we can play Freddy. <laughs> I'm obviously just making these rules up as I go along, but it's fine, it's fine. So, Freddy has the independent trait. I felt that that was, um, you know... I felt like that that would be pretty, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, he's growing up in an asylum, he's the only child, you know, it's not a normal setting. Um, I felt like independent would be kind of how he became, you know, like, he would just, he would just learn a little bit to like, sort of look after himself kind of thing. <laughs> Des is just standing here like, get off the bed. Don't just nudge down. <laughs> oh, funny. Why are you coming in here? If you need to pee. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. What are you doing? Oh, you're going to put him to bed? That's actually adorable. Aww. Aww, you're tucking him in, Ellie. You sweetheart. Aww. Oh, now I feel bad that I totally stole that bed from her, but you snooze, you lose. Or in this case, you don't snooze, you lose. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. All right, we are going to... Oh, everyone just needs to go to the loo and stuff. We'll just go already, please. We are going to cut back to when um, some people are actually awake that we can control. That's really creepy. Brooke just sat down to read. Why do they do that? I feel like I need to lock them out. Okay, it's 11 o'clock and I feel like Tess should probably get up just so we don't... Like, her sleeping schedule is just completely messed up as it is right now. Oh, look at you thinking about woohooing in a rocket ship. Um, so we're going to come down and just take care of some needs. Uh, let's cook fruit salad because that's nice and easy. Um, looks like our plants are mostly okay, so that's good. We don't need to stress about them just yet. And then we might just go straight out and start working on our fitness skill. Go try and get those, those arms and legs pumping, you know? 
Gotta get them pumping. Aww. Being out by myself and happy doing things without any help. He's an independent little dude and he likes to just chill by himself. Which, I, yeah, as I said, I thought that was handy since he's the only kid in this asylum. Um, you know, and everyone's crazy. <laughs> it's kind of, you know, everyone for themselves at this point, you know. So... What are you going? Oh no, you finished watching. So it's just been a pretty normal day in the asylum. I will um, say I have downloaded the MC Command Center mod, and then I I don't get it. <laughs> it is so intense and so complex. And like kudos to I think his name's Deadpooler. Or Deadpool, maybe? Deadpool? I can't remember. Something like that. Hence why you've got this um, little Deadpool face. Although I've seen some of them that don't have that. Anyway, you know, like, it's amazing. But I still have no idea how to use it. For example, like, over here. Is she an elder? Oh, she's an elder. Oh, hang on, this chick. Look, I can mark her for pregnancy. Let's do it. Oh, she's an elder too. Arr! I mean, I can change it so that elders can get pregnant, but I don't want to do that. I feel like, you know, in their in their uh, later years, they deserve to just, <laughs> you know, have control over their body. I can give him an alien pregnancy. That would be funny. <gasps> that would be really funny. Santiago Walsh. Anyway, I'm getting way ahead of myself. This is not the point of this challenge. <laughs> okay, grab some fruit salad, Tess. Don't just stare at it. Thank you. And come and watch some TV to get your fun up. While you eat your fruit salad. Lovely. Okay, so while you're doing that, we'll just put it on medium speed. Also, I know the last few of my videos for any video have had quite a strong, like, well, not strong, but like, in the background you can kind of hear um, some sort of like real world noises. And that's because we in New Zealand right now are, well, we're coming out, we're not in summer anymore, we're kind of more in, I don't know if we're in spring yet. I'm not even sure. Honestly, the weather in Auckland is so ridiculous. It's just one big giant season. There's no such thing as seasons, really. Um, but we... I am, like, surrounded by cicadas. Like, it is so loud right now. To the point where the other day... This is actually really funny. The other day I was editing a video. And it was night time for me. So, you know, and then I realized I could hear these cicadas. And I was like, that's so strange. Like, why... Why can I hear cicadas? And I paused the video I was editing and it was silent. And I was just like, oh my goodness. <laughs> it's picked up all of this outside noise. So I'm sorry if that annoys people, but there isn't really much I can do because there's like thousands of them. I can't go out and capture all the cicadas or just like yell out to them to be quiet. <laughs> um, sorry, Tess, you're not going to paint actually. You're going to come over here and box. Um, so yeah, so that's what that noise is. But you know, it's a little bit of ambiance, you know, it's a little bit of ambiance for the, for the game, you know. There's no seasons in Sims, so I'm just adding some background noise that you would expect. It's totally fine, you know, totally. Now, Freddy McFreddy Pants. Let's wake you up now, because I feel like you've had enough sleep. Like, we don't want you to be awake during the entire night. So let's change your outfit and I'll put you in some... I put him in the avocado shirt because I thought, you know, his dad... Oh, I love that. His dad... Excuse me. His dad is a foodie. You know, so it makes sense. Um, but look at him in his little... He's adorable, okay? Like, let's just have a moment. I haven't actually gone up close for you guys to see him yet, so... This is Freddie O'Neill and he is so cute! I actually cannot handle how adorable he is. So James is coming to hang out with his son, obviously. Oh, they're just watching each other. 
That's so cute. They're literally just watching each other. That's it. That's so funny. You're going to play in that. You do that, Freddy. You do that. I don't know what you're doing, James, but that's okay. So she is pretty fit now. Check out those muscles, man. Definition. And, hmm. You guys are just having a super chill day, aren't you? Ooh, this looks like it would have been a really cool painting. We'll have to finish that one. And as you can see, we've got a few toys around the place. We did have some more, but James tidied them all up and put them in the toy box upstairs. <laughs> you might also notice we've got a few new paintings. So she did this one the other day, which I thought was really cool. I'd never seen this. It's a confident one. And I don't know if you guys have seen this one as well, but I thought that was quite cool. What else have we got? We did have to sell a whole lot recently. Oh yeah, there was this cool bike one, which I thought was kind of nice. Oh, we might actually move that there. Yeah, that's better. Um, I don't. I think you guys have seen those ones. This one was a strange one, surrealism. A little scary, actually. I was like, oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, where's she gone? Ooh, where did that come from? I bet you Finnegan just left it there. Nap. How are you so tired already? Oh, I suppose you were working out, weren't you? What's Freddy doing? Aw, he's babbling to his dinosaur. And look, they're wearing matching colours. He's so cute. He's so cute. Let's go for a wander. Let's go for a wander, Freddy. Where are we going to go? Are you going to go downstairs? No? Okay. Okay, don't, you don't have to go downstairs. Gonna go watch Daddy sleep? <laughs> no? Oh, that was the upstairs. Oh, you dingbat, Olivia, they're both. Oh my god, blonde! Wow, you've reached level two already? That's crazy. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I knew this would happen. I knew it. Why are you only napping? Sleep. Come on, woman. Ah, oh. he's gonna go try to potty himself. Is he gonna use this one? Cause this one's gonna. Ah, oh. he's gonna get sad because this one hasn't been cleaned, and so he's gonna make a mess. Let's just put that out there. I don't want that in the kids' room. I just put all of this shit out here, and <laughs> someone will clean it up. <laughs> oh, I love it. He's gonna have an accident though, cause it hadn't been cleaned out. But it looks like he's already he's already going to get to level 2. That's crazy. Oh no, it's so windy right now. And I've had to close like every window because the blinds are going nuts. But it's too hot to not have windows open. <laughs> like it's too hard. If it gets too intense, I'll, I'll close them. Thank you, Brookie. <laughs> he's going to go wake up Ellie. Oh, look, he didn't have an accident. That's good. He's going to go wake up Ellie because she tucked him in the other day. Oh, she's not going to like this, eh? Although she's pretty hungry, so actually he's probably doing her a favour. Let's go wake her up. Oh, they wake him up by crying. No, don't use diaper. Arr! Potty help now. Ask Ellie. Don't use your diaper. Stop it. No, don't. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You can do this. You can do it. What? What, what are you talking about? Potty help now. Ellie Ryder. Is it because it's full? Is that why? If she does it again, okay, fine. We'll use the downstairs one if you've got to be like that. Goodness me. Potty help now, Ellie Ryder. Okay, let's try this again, people. One more time. You gonna do it now? Yay! Okay. 
You know, it's totally fine for all these crazy people to be looking after a top line. It's totally fine. <laughs> This is better though. And then we'll get him some food. When we move out of the asylum, because we will eventually do that and it's not too far away, what do you think we should do? Should we should we upgrade all of their stuff? Should we give them like a proper bed and like nicely decorated house so they can all sort of like grow old together? Or do you think we should leave it as it is? I'd be really keen to know what you guys think about that because, yeah, I don't know how, I don't know what I want to do then. And I was also thinking like, um, you know, we could move Tessa and James and Freddie out and get them a mansion. But I was like, you know what, like they're coming from an asylum, you know, they're probably going to be super shell shocked. I reckon just a nice comfortable middle class sort of house will do them just fine because otherwise you know they'll just get too overwhelmed you know yay oh my god that is my favorite thing when they do that it is so cute right food james robinson give me some food dad give me some food Right, 7.40 a.m. You can wake up and come and insta-repair this, buddy. Chickadee, chickadee dee. How far did we get with that skill? Not very far at all. <laughs> I think this last skill is going to take quite a while. So why don't you come out here and do the hill challenge? I know you're hungry, buddy. That's why you're getting fed. See? Here's the food. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> oh, so cute. So cute. Who hasn't eaten this? Don't waste it. Goodness me. I also think um, when we move them out that perhaps we should change who works. I don't know. Or give them lots of money or something. Because I feel like Ellie and Finnegan... Oh, they've just had such a rough time, eh? Like, they've just been working non-stop. That I think only one of them has ever actually gotten a promotion. Or is it both of them now? Oh, no. So he's on level three. Oh, look. If he just reaches level three mischief skill, he could get another promotion. And same with her. She just needs to get one more mischief skill. So what, where's her mischief level? Oh yeah, that's, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. We just can't control them though, so it's not up to us, is it? No. Um, let's play, because that'll get his fun up. Play with daddy. Um, you are still going hard there. Yay, this is so cute. I only have one thing that I, and it's not really a dislike about toddlers, but I love the animations, the interactions, the, like, how much more they can do themselves compared to The Sims 3 and Sims 2. But the only thing I wish was that there was actually more for them to do in terms of like leaving the house like the kids can play on the jungle gyms you know like it would be so cool if we could go across to where is it over here yeah it would be so cool if we could go over here and the toddlers could play on here as well like that would be so cool but it just doesn't happen you know um or like a slide or a swing or something. If they just gave us something else we could do with them outside, that would be so cool. Like, if anyone knows of any custom content that someone's made that allows you to do that, please tell me, because I will so do it. Ooh, let's, oops, damn it, that's not what I meant to do. Where is that lady gone? There she is. Let's mark her for pregnancy, because that'll be fun. 
which is an adult, any child. Um, so let's go pregnancy. So you can actually get her to start straight away. So she's already got two children. Let's pregnancy start. And then pregnancy phase, let's put her in the third trimester. And now look, she's pregnant. <laughs> wow. I have so much power. I'm so power hungry. Oh dear. Who's this guy? It's honestly like you can just stuff around with it for ages. Like, oh look, he's coming outside. He's feeling energized. But he's also extremely tired. So I feel like that's gonna backfire really soon. Maybe, Tess, you should stop doing that and you should read him to sleep. Um, toddler gear, read to sleep. There you go. Pick him up. Take him to bed. Because it is so bedtime. Ooh. Right. Gosh. So hard. Did that actually work? I don't think it did. No, it didn't. Try that again. There we go. Yay, she's reading him to sleep. But she hasn't actually said anything out loud yet. Oh, there we go. Oh, I wonder what book it is. Can we see? Yay, it's Rex Tricks! <laughs> oh, if you guys have seen... Um, oh, no, you won't have seen it yet because I only just filmed it yesterday. But in a recent episode of City Living, I read a few of the children's books descriptions and they are hilarious. Like, I don't know if you've seen some of the toddler books, but they are fantastic. Like, look to the lower atmosphere. What do you see? Is it a choo-choo choo choo is it is it a choo-choo careening off the rails or a wanted bear looking for artisanal honey? No, it's Maxis Man and he's here to save the day. Like <laughs> Whoever wrote those, like, you are awesome, in my opinion, anyway. And you know what? I think in most people's opinion, because that is pretty cool. Um, apparently everyone's asleep, so all the beds have been taken. It's so weird seeing a bed there now. No one's sleeping on the bench, right? Good. Good, good, good. Because um, those two are at work. So Tess missed out. She's so busy looking after her baby now. That she's missing out on all these things that she would otherwise, you know, need to do. So, after she's done that... Ooh, okay. Those plants need a serious water. So have a shower, and then you can do that. And then we will try and sleep on the couch. That is the plan. Stern. Oh, no, we probably should eat something first, actually. So we'll just speed through this, keeping an eye on Freddy McFreddy. McFreddyson, Freddy McFreddy. I love that name, it's so cute. No! Why are you using your diaper? You didn't even need to go to the bathroom. Oh, so annoying. I've somehow managed to work toddlers into every one of my challenges and let's plays right now. Like, these guys have just had a toddler. Obviously, the 100 baby has toddlers. Like, that's literally the, the game. Um, and, of course, there's the two toddlers um, living in the city living house right now. <laughs> oh, man. So funny. They're just so adorable. I can't, I can't deny myself toddlers. Like, I just have too much fun. That looks like Ellie. Is it? Oh, sorry, not Ellie. Zoe. She's angry. She's angry. We haven't seen her for a while though, so it's nice that she's coming to visit us. Oh, I probably should kind of have some food. I wonder if there's fruit salad. Yes, let's eat that. Where did Ellie go? Sorry, Zoe. La 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 la. Oh, there she is. She's talking to. It's always sad seeing this because oh, because she's obviously um, angry, you know. And she she burnt, she died by fire, so it's always sad. It's always sad when I think about that. 
What do you know? The two parents are awake. Isn't that adorable? Who's calling Brooke? No. Aww. Well, it's 3.27 a.m. Tessa's going to sleep for probably the third time in this in this episode, so I feel like it would be a good place to finish. So I know we didn't really get much done, um, but we're pretty much just going to be slowly working at getting that skill up um, as much as possible. In fact, I might even play a few days where we just really focus on that. Um, and of course, their their um, lifespan set to long, so. Freddie won't be aging up anytime soon. In fact, if we look here, he's still got 26 days of being a toddler. So, yeah, that's a long time. I mean, when we move them out, maybe we could change it to a normal lifespan. Um, but for now, yeah. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and comment, and we'll catch you for the next one. Bye!